Hey everybody, welcome back. So first off, we are actually gonna complete a few things. One, we're gonna do Mark II Pipe Logistics. Two, we are gonna run right over to here. And we're gonna seal and send the first set of project assembly. There we go. And there we go. Now we're going to make our way over to our steel factory because I want to show off what we did over there. So I will see you when we get over there. Okay, and right over here, this was our steel factory. So I made our steel items. I changed around a few things. One, right here it comes out. I turned that one off from being a awesome sink. So I wanted that to fill up. I wanted all these to fill up. And then I wanted all the excess to come over here for the rocks. Why waste them? Why waste the rods going into here and then train screwing them into screws? So let's just go ahead and get even more rods. Okay? This is our new area. So we have smelters, blast furnaces for days. Making steel. This one's making iron. This one's making copper. Copper. Zinc. This one's making brass. Now everything's coming over here. It's getting set out. I have levels for everything. Yes, levels. So we have all of these making wire. The bottom two are actually separated out. Those are coming over to those two right there. And they're making stators because I needed 30 each for these machines. Okay, well, each one of these makes 30. So that gave me those. Those come over here, they make stators. The stators go down, they come back up for this machine. And then this machine uses cable to then make all the rest. Now, why is cable not coming out that fast? Cable comes through these ones. Oh, it looks like I'm down a little bit on cable. Why am I down? This one's not using any. This one. How is that possible? Continuously running. I don't understand it. It's not running how it's supposed to. But that's supposed to make it so that way these come over here. And then they are going to get turned into automated wiring. Which is what we already sent off. These ones over here, these are making our industrial case steel beams. The concrete is actually coming from every last one of these. It also comes over here. And we get our slag. Okay. Our slag comes off, gets sorted out. We have our sulfur. Extra sulfur goes there. Slag comes over here. Goes into this container, but then gets sorted out into these two machines. These two machines have crushed stone and slag to make concrete. It's an alternate recipe. Then they come back over all the way over here. I had to put them above ground because this is a big rock pipe base right here. And then they go down below just before here and then they come back up all the way over here. Right in that one. They come back up and then they get sorted out into the two machines. Now we have all of these coming in. A little bit behind. It's gonna catch, pick up, I promise. Mark two conveyor. Those could be Mark ones, but hey, it's okay. That's what we got. There is one thing that we need to do. Mark two. back over we gotta get the rest of these this hover pack comes in so handy
over. Steel screws. I have those very readily, readily available. A few sets, then we'll hop back down. that come back over and there we go mark two belts now hold 300 so the 150 the reason why i had to do that i'll come right over here and i'll show you so these each take 100 okay so that's 200 between the two of them i was only doing 150. so now these should be able to get all of the water they need to continuously run, which I'm hoping for. Right here. Not doing what it's supposed to, I don't think. Is that supposed to come all the way over? And then this one, one of these two. One of them uses iron which this one does which is not running because it doesn't have enough iron but hopefully that will change soon because i have 300 that's coming out of here okay so i have 300 coming out so i just need to wait for everything to get built up this one's now all the way it's going to start over dumping into here look at there Okay, and that is what I have been working on. So I, we did get the space elevator taken care of. Now we got phase three, the next video. Actually, you know what, before we do this, we have uh, we're gonna do some hard drives. So we're gonna open up hard drives, see what we can get unlocked for hard drives. But before that, I wanna see about one other thing. I wanna see if we can unlock are what is it what's the word i'm looking for um oil there we go oil production that's what i want i want to try to unlock oil production so let's see if we can unlock oil production and you know what i'm gonna do this a little different let's go here oil refinery select that milestone Need more of all of those. Temporary build, because I needed some for something else. <clears throat> Keep on going. Let's get back down over to these automated wirings. Yes, you use a lot more of these recipes that you used to not use for anything. go middle Ooh, only 26 come on you got to be going faster buddy we're waiting on wire aren't we so let's do that we're gonna go ahead and i'm going to go to the cutscene of the hard drive opening so we're gonna get those taken care of and then i will come back once i get this and then we will get some more open so I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, let's see what we got for this one. So we have turning molten tin into rods directly. Um, we have copper sheets into cable. Or we have crushed copper with molten iron make molten up more to make 45 we would have to use point four. it doesn't 
doesn't seem like a very good thing right there. This one would make it so that way I can just do a solidifier directly from Molten Tim to that. that do that to be able to make wire from it. So I guess we're going to have to go with this one. Start another one. Okay, and we got another one here. So we got brass ingots from just doing ingots. We have the heavy copper. <laughs> yeah, I'll galvanize cheese. I don't really like any of these, but I guess I'll go with this one. Just because normally it's I would use it as molten, which is a lot nicer. 120, this is 60. Why would I go downward? You know what I mean? Let's try another one. Okay, and one that I actually do like. Molten copper and two copper pipes. 80 per minute. I do like this one. So this is actually the one we're going to go with because I don't want conductive magnesium. I don't even know if I can make that. Can I? Hold on. Standard recipe is... Maybe I can. Maybe I can make that easier. Will it give me more? Mm, no, that's not. Let's just keep going with this one because I like this one. Let's start another one. Okay. What do we got here? Three... Ooh. We can make crushed stone into lime. That would be nice for doing concrete. Conductive copper. I do like the conductive copper. Because I don't know. Like what is this? Crushed oh it's crushed iron, never mind. Crushed iron and that to make that. Not really liking that one. I do like the mag the one that uses magnesium. So this is going to be the one we're going to go with because I want the crushed stone to make lime dust. That way we can make concrete rooms. Start another one. Okay, let's see what we got for this one. Ooh, reinforced zinc plates. We have a lime steel, which using iron. Hole in line right there. We get more. We have. They really want us to have this one, don't they? Crushed iron with molten copper to make molten iron. Why? We have less copper. That one I don't want. Lime steel. I I might go with this one just for the simple fact that we're going to have some zinc that we're not going to be able to use all of. So I'm going to go with that one. Let's go ahead and do another one. Okay, and I'm f so we got the connective iron. Again, it keeps on giving us this one. But then we got the connective copper, which this one I actually sort of do like. Molten magnesium with the copper to make molten copper and flood. That one I think we're, is the one we're going to go with. So let's go ahead and get another one in there. And here we go. Another one now. We have molten iron, coal and lime to make lime steel. So it makes more And then this one, why would I go from bars to sheets, a wire, when I have to go bars, rod, wire? Because, yeah, it makes no sense. Well, I actually have the other one, which is even better. <laughs> Excuse me. Mixed stereotype. I can get more stereotype from that. Well, let's just go with this one just because I don't know what other option to go with. Do another one. 
Okay, here we go. We have Doug the Binder. Black Cable. Mixed Air Type. You know what? Just because I've gotten it way too many times, we're gonna choose this one. Let's start this one. Okay, what do we got now? We have Heavy Copper, which is using copper and molten iron to make molten copper. It's almost copper recipe. Uh, galvanized sheet, which is zinc and iron to make six. Or we have mixed steratite, which is giving us more steratite, even though we have a ton of steratite. We don't really need more. Well, I guess I could use more steratite. This could work if I want to do like a major steel factory. This could work. I could do this one for it. We're going to go with that one. Let's try another one. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have governor's plates. We have slightly copper wire. We have flat copper cable. One to one. But yeah. No. That's... No, that goes right. That would be one for one. Yeah, so it does 30. Which is how much we get from before. It goes for a different one. Galvanization. We're gonna go with galvanization just because I don't have any other option. Got another one. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, pure sorted material? Ooh, I do like this. I do. Mmm. Is this what I want? Hmm. More, what is this one? Heavy copper. Crushed copper. Molten iron. Like that. You know what? We're gonna go with the pier. In a sorter. There we go. Let's start another one. Okay, what do we got now? We have the flat cable. Slightly copper. Or heavy copper. All of these was happy for. Mm, let's just let's go with the flat because it's so far on the left. Try again. I'm trying for one very specific one. You couldn't tell. Okay, what do we got now? Pure sort of tin. So we got pure tin. Copper wire from there and heavy. Let's go with the sort of tin because we don't have a pure tin yet. And we're going up uh, number eight. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we only got two. What? At the end. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna choose this one. And we'll do one more and see if there's no other options. Yeah. So we'll be back. Okay, one, let's see. And it's the only thing that's like, why did it not just automatically click it for me? Like honestly. Now I'm debating, do I hit another one? Just to see. I say we do one more, just to see. I want to see if it comes up with anything. So we'll see you in about 10 minutes. Okay, so here is what happens. No research is available. Try again later for further progress. Did that use up the hard drive though? That's the question. We're going to have to figure it out. Okay, but now let's go ahead and... Give me one moment, and I will be right back. Okay, and we got the last of them. There we go. Send this off, and now we have oil. That will be our next build. 
But until then, let's go ahead. Let's, let's do. Yep, so we're gonna. Oh, not computers. Why did I grab computers? I don't need batteries. I do have some unstable quantum crystals, so I think that actually might be our next one because that's the new content. They just updated that. Oh, uh, where did computers go? There's computers. We got six hard drives left after the last set, so let's go ahead and do some more of them now. And we will see what we get. Okay, and let's see what this set does for us. Do we get anything? Ooh, new hydrocarbons and oxygen to plastic and a solidifier and cooler. Okay, and it is one. You get one alternate recipe when you unlock this because there's no other, there's no choices. So that is it. So now we know exactly how many get unlocked with this. This is going to be our new thing. We're going to have hard drives and we're going to figure out what unlocks in what tier. That is our new thing. So this is the first one that we have for this. This is all that gets unlocked from that. So that takes care of that one. I appreciate everybody tuning in for this. And the next episode we will be building our... Uh, what should we call it? Oil refinery. Because then we're going to need to start doing some other stuff. Fuel energy. Yep. Mark two boilers. Trucks so we can upgrade our trucks. Industrial manufacturing so we can actually manufacture uh, circuit boards. So that way we can unlock explosives. And I can get soldering. Um, one thing that I really want is advanced ore processing. Or is it advanced alloys? Advanced alloys. Invor ingots to get in our pipes. Because remember, we need those for overclocking. So this we need purified. So we need the ore processing, which means I need soldering wire, solder, um, bronze ingots we can make, steel ingots we can make, brass ingots we can make, computers. So that means I need, uh, not those ones, not there, not monorail, not that. Over here, this one makes it so we can have belts. Alternate fluid transport, no. Soldering wire. Okay, soldering wire. Oh, where's the solder? Where's solder? Did anybody see solder in here? Looking for solder. Anybody see solder? Check over here. Ooh, hard drive crafting. This, we're gonna need this one after we get computers because then we can start crafting things. Then we can always have them. Invert plates. Still trying to find where we get. High voltage, no. Project assembly for those ones. Pipes. Not sure where you get it. Did I get it in here? No. I'm guessing it's in with this one. The solder wire. The solder. This is the one that I'm guessing it's with. So we will set up our oil, then we'll come over here and get our manufacturing taken care of so that way we can start getting solder and making computers and stuff like that. And then we could do better ones to here, templates. Yep, because then we can get better belts. Then we'll hop over and we'll get our uh get this one unlocked to then get this one unlocked so we can get the inver pipes because we want those inver pipes <laughs> so that's going to be a look in the future let's go ahead and take a look at being here standing on our base but thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you guys next time